Hey, what's up? And welcome to Hack My Growth. This episode, we're going to be talking about optimizing our images for Google Image Search. All right, let's get into it. Are you looking to grow your business, but you're not sure where to start? That's where we come in. So people use Google images to look for ideas and Google has absolutely caught on to this. This is just a way that the search results have already shifted over the last few years. You know, on the left side, we used to have these blue links. Uh, we used to have, you know, these, you know, recipes and things of that nature for ideas. Then they started to add in some more information with rich snippets where they put in a little picture. And now today we've got these rich cards, which are filled with images and they're filled with pictures because people love to process and it's easier for us to process information using images we're visual we're visual creatures we love images and we are looking for ideas online you know typically whether it may be for our home or maybe be recipes or ideas for our known business or things of that nature images help us get better um, better grasp of what the ideas could be or should be so google is putting an emphasis on this so much so because people are gravitating to the image tool. Um, Gary from Google, he was talking about this at an event that I was at last week, and he said that image is now the second most used feature in Google search. So after the normal Google, like google.com, this is what we're talking about, you know, the blue links, the second most uh, used feature is the image portion of search. So before we get into how to optimize our images, we need to understand the three main components of how search works. So it starts with crawling, and this is where a bot comes to your site and begins to crawl your page. This is where it starts at the top, it starts to read all of your information. This is where it's just getting an idea of what's on your website, to um, more from a broader angle. The next thing that it does is it begins to index, and this is where it starts to categorize your site and begin to um, put things in different places. This is where it begins to understand what was crawling, and now it begins to store that information within Google's index, within Google's database to understand what the content's about, which results in rankings. So this is how now your site would show up for a particular query when somebody types it into search engine. So for images, this is what the Google bot is looking for. It's looking at image data, it's looking at metadata, it's looking at page data, and it's looking at structured data. So we've got four areas that we really need to make sure that we have on our sites uh, because this is what the Google bot is looking for. So image data is going to be things like alt text and title text. Uh, your metadata is going to be your descriptions. It's going to be your titles, your page data. It's going to be the content on that specific page. And structured data is going to be the markup. This is where you know, we're going to add schema structured data to different elements, uh, including images on our site. So how can we do better on Google Images? How can we make sure that our site is being found in the second most searched page on Google.com? Well, the first thing, we have to make sure that we're not blocking the Google bot. Uh, so many people um, make this mistake. Uh, not on purpose. They're just maybe they don't have something checked correctly, whether they've used a plugin in WordPress where uh, they just have not allowed the bot, bot to actually have access to an image. So robot.txt is a file that's on your website and it basically tells the good bots, so the bots that actually listen, what they can and cannot crawl on your website. So if you have it set to disallow and you're not allowing it to crawl your images, you're not going to have your images in the index. The second thing that you want to do is begin to add an image sitemap. So a lot of people are familiar with your normal, your typical sitemap, which is just the structure of your pages. And it goes down all of your pages, um, the different uh, sections of your website, and it's, it's kind of building this map. And there's also like HTML sitemaps, right? Um, what an image sitemap does, it shows the structure of your images, where your images are found on the site, and begins to give the search engines a lot more information about how to find your images and what those images are about. The other thing is adding text around your images. This gives context to what the search engine is looking at. So they can see your alt text and your title text, but when you add text around that image and you help them to understand what's going on on that page, the, the image now has um, 
it's got more context. I mean, it's as simple as that. that Google can better understand what that image is and, and why it's there in the first place. Now, having accurate and concise alt text. This is a product, right? So this is Doritos nacho cheese. And if you look over here, the alt text is highlighted. And the alt text isn't just bag of chips or just Doritos, but it's specifically what it is. It's accurate, it is concise, and maybe a little bit longer than you're used to using. But, but this describes exactly what the picture is. Doritos tortilla chips, nacho cheese, 1.5 ounce, large single serve bag, pack of 64. So it's telling you exactly what this image is. Uh, this is the way we should be writing alt text. These are going to make sure that the images uh, are better understood by the Google bots and it can help you earn those really coveted positions in image search <clears throat> using structured data. So this is actually an example of organizational schema, but if you notice the logo is here, the logo is an image. You can add uh, your image and images to different parts of your schema markup. Uh, specifically in image search, you can do it for products and recipes. But you also want to make sure that you're marking up your images and adding your images to organizational and local schema as well, because this can make sure that your images are also not just showing up in image search, but also in the knowledge cards that can be found on Google today. Now, page meta does play a role. So when Google's looking at the page and is trying to understand what the page is about, it's going to look at the title tag first. The title tag should accurately and concisely describe that page. Then it's going to look at the meta descriptions. Again, they're not using this as a quote unquote ranking signal, but they're using it for context. They're using it to get an idea of what the page is about and is that site really delivering on that promise. So by making sure that you know that your title tags and your meta description back up what the images and the content of your page is about is extremely important because when there's that when there is that continuity, Google really really likes that and will award that. So why does this matter, right? In the grand scheme of things, well, it's the second most number of searches on Google.com go through image. That alone shows you that billions of people are using image search. Now here's another thing: Google is growing the image team. Google is putting emphasis and resources into image because it matters. If you see on the right here, I've got a picture of Google Lens. So Google Lens is using images to search for things online. Google is putting a ton of resources and energy behind image tools, behind image recognition. Uh, they got a ton of cool tools on Google Cloud. This is an area that Google's is investing in, so marketers and SEOs need to be investing in this area as well. If you got any questions on this deck or you want to talk a little bit more about SEO, please let me know. But until next time, happy marketing.